Why is it so loud, Jesus? This is Chris Singleton, and welcome to the show. Damn, that is loud. So just about set, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. The pitch. That one finds the corner, and we're underway here in the home opener.
and a pitch. Back up the middle and a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a cookie a down the middle. I mean, those the are the right ones here. you dream Number about. 19. Ones in the cage, you're just Charlie. hoping you get in the ball wow. game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Charlie Blackman takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. The 0 1. And that one wrapped foul. The 0 2. In the dirt, but kept close. So, man aboard, one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. Big time power. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Polanco leads off first with one away. Fernando Tatis Jr. continues to be one of the most dynamic talents in the game. That season he put together in 2021, one of the best in Padres history. Tatis waits. In the dirt. So here's the cleanup hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. In there, and it's 0 and 1. And the right hander deals. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Bottom of the first. Here's Byron Buxton. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do... Damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. You'll want. And a swing and a miss there. I think he was sitting off speed there. And the 0-2. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Jazz That's Chisholm it. now. The second baseman. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. There's a swing and a miss. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Blackman puts it away, two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. He's looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Ty France stands in now, looks at that one inside. And the pitch. 
Called strike right there. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Makes the catch, and that is that. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit. For the, Red, the designated hitter, Mike Moustakis. And a pitch. Fouled off left side. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. The punch out there and one away. Andrew Vaughn now. The left fielder, number 25. Andrew Vaughn. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the righty deals. And strike two. Okay. No score here in the second. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. And now it's Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Next pitch is popped up. France makes the catch. And that'll do it. Bottom of the inning. And now Chris Bryant. For the Mariners, the left fielder, Bryant. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. There's a the strike. Righty to the plate. In the air, left side. Vaughn settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. First offering, and it just misses. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. And he deals. Second inning here, no score. There's a strike, three and one. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Kicks and fires. Rolled over to third. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it that to shoot good. it through for a knock. And we'll take hit. that anytime you can get him to find a hole. This is Kyle Lewis. Zimmer as he glides to his left. He one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Throw cut off now to the plate. Save! Well done. Drives in the run. Challenging with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. And he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here's that Justin Turner. The third baseman. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. 
Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Justin Turner takes in deep, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 3-0. Here's Nico Horner. Batting it. Not shortstop. Nico. Horner. Kicks and deals. And there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Garrett Hampson takes a ball here as he stands in now. Next one misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. the 2 1 in the air left field Vaughn makes the grab two down so the lineup flips over Byron Buxton digs in now number 25 Byron Buxton first pitch not close he's been trying to tease the zone with that slider but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Next pitch is outside. Now 2 0. Oh. At the belt and fires. Corner on the go. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Here comes a pitch. And yeah, there's a the ball. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Go back. Up and two. Second baseman. Yeah. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. That one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Out of the third inning and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Tyler Stevenson. The catcher. Tyler Stevenson. And the right hander back to work. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Bradley Zimmer. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really is a way to beat the shift. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Jorge Polanco. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. Got it. And that is that. Is 
Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. Leading off for the Mariners. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics on that one. He just lost the handle and ended up way off target. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab. And there's one down. And now it's going to be Alejandro Kirk. And he's already singled in this game. And that's in there for strike one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Next pitch has popped up. Stevenson under this one. He makes the grab, and there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath Number it a little one. bit and popped it up. In now is the Mariners' Kyle. DH, Kyle Lewis. Lewis. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. France leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And that one in the air center field. Zimmer in position. That is the inning. Back at T-Mobile Park, there's Chuck Nasty. The Reds in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. He swings and fouls one off. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground right side. France steps on the bag. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball the out of the air. Let's the Fernando defense work behind Chichis. him with another ground ball. Good execution. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Hard hit left side. On to France. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. That ends the frame. Back in Seattle, bottom of the fourth, here's the third baseman, Justin Turner. For the Mariners, the third baseman. The pitch. Turner. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And a pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. And here it comes. And it is two and one. The pitch. That one missed. Three balls, one strike. Turner awaiting a three one. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now here is Nico Horner. 
First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Turner on at first. Nobody out. Next offering is fouled back. Oh, and two now. In the air to left center. And there's one down. Man at first, Garrett Hampson, the next to hit. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And the pitch. Slapped foul. Foul ball, he stays alive. Out towards left center. Tatis makes the catch. And there are two down. Byron Buxton up next for the Mariners. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. First offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Well, notice they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, you'll be asking for a new baseball. The 2 Just off the outside edge. Excellent arm action on that two-strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at-bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. We go to the top of the fifth. In now for the Reds, Mike Moustakis. Big off for Cincinnati. The designated hitter, Mike Mustafa. The right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Bryant gets under it. Squeezes it. One down. Andrew Vaughn, the next to hit for the Reds. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Bryant puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Down the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Over one so far. Alec Bohm. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. This one in the air, right field. Hampson makes the catch, and that'll do it.
back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat, Jazz Chisholm. The second baseman. McGill back to work. Chisholm checks his swing, appeal to third, no swing. Righty delivers to the right side, and that should be extra bases. And it gets by him. Around second now, going for three. Polanco with a relay throw. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, no, that is three. coming off the bat pretty three. good. I know he's feeling good about it. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the red. Number 67. Seven. Luther. And now here is Ty France. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. And the right hander deals. That one's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He's in to score on the sack fly, and they lead by four. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Brian nope. at the plate now. That's ball one. Nope. And that one fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. Is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. Stays alive. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Two outs, bases empty. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. One for two. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. Two down, nobody on. On the ground to the left. The throw to first. Inning over. Welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. Leading off for Cincinnati. The catcher. They've got a potent Tyler. lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Swing and a ball popped up. And makes the grab. And there's one away. Next for Cincinnati, Bradley Zimmer. Center fielder, number seven, Bradley Zimmer. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Bryant sizing this one up. Tracks it down for the out. That's out number two. Jorge Polanco, the, the next to hit for the Reds. The second baseman, Jorge Polanco. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The pitch. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. 
And welcome back. Now it's the DH, Kyle Lewis. Leading off for the Mariners, the designated hitter. Lugo, back to work. Lewis. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Kicks and fires. That's a ball. Ground ball up the middle. Tatis handles that chance. Gets it to first. And a quick out number one. Justin Turner now. Now batting. Third baseman. Justin Turner. Next pitch has popped up. Boom. Makes the play. And there's two away. And now for Seattle. Nico Horner. So you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones the where you've got to make a pay. Here's Garrett Hampson. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. On the ground. And it goes just foul. In the dirt. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. One two now just missed. Well he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat so might have it timed up and ready for it. Runner leads away at second. And a foul ball he stays alive. Corner stands at second with two gone. Next offering way off the plate. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Buxton stands in now and watches strike one. This one high in the air to left center. Zimmer, he ranges to his right. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. So two on with two away. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jazz Chisholm. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. And now the count is even. Second and third, two down. And the count, one and two. Well, that's a really good pass to the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way, just let it travel a hair more. Chases that one out of the zone, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. We go to the top of the seventh and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Charlie Blackman. The right fielder, number 19. Charlie. Blackman. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity the and stay there. The and the batter Fernando will be Fernando Tatis Jr. And first offering is fouled off. 
The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Long run tracks it down. And there's two down. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. The they base. practice this, and Ball. when the game comes, Goal. they make the play perfectly. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back. Makes the catch up Ladies against the wall. Lee Jordan for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Back at T-Mobile Park, and now the first baseman, Ty France. Way to go for the Mariners. The first baseman, Ty France. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for Fred, number 46, Craig Kimbrell. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff die. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Yeah, Fastball man. pretty much middle, middle, middle and that's what you fall asleep yeah. dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise oh, he put a great swing on it. Here's Chris Bryant now. First pitch just misses. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. Here comes the pitch. And a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering misses. And that's ball three. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back base hits. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Kerr in the box now. No balls and a strike. And the 0 1. One ball, one strike. France, the lead runner out at second. Bryant at first with no outs. Next pitch, way upstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 3-1. That one the other way. Base hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Now it's the Mariners DH. Kyle Lewis. One for three. First offering. Misses the mark. Well, he's just given up three straight hits. And now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. 2-0. And another ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. So now Turner in on that right side. Ground ball left side and that's just foul the opportunity for a huge inning exists right here bases loaded nobody out but as a hitter can't be over anxious that pitcher is up against the wall make him come to you in the dirt blocked but no advance from the runners bases juiced no outs Next pitch just misses. Two and two. At the belt and fires. Line drive caught. So digging in, Nico Horner. Now batting. Just off. Nico Horner. 
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. One run across. Two runs are in. Polanco with a relay home in there safely. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his back pack to the ball and caught it out front. But and he stayed long ball. in his follow through. That's yeah. how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Hampson, the next to hit, takes outside. And the 1 0. Still only one out here in the inning. Popped in the air. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Back to the top of the lineup. Byron Buxton now at the plate. Number 25. Byron Buxton. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The 1 0. Swings through that one for strike one. The 1 1. And that one got a piece of him. Our biggest concern, other than injury, after a moment like that, is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy loses confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. First and second, two down. And up next for Seattle, Chaz Chisholm. Your attention, please. That one's in there on one. And he'll one. Now one and one. Now a pop up on the infield. Stretches out and hauls it in. Back in Seattle, and now the DH, Mike Moustakis. Leading off for Cincinnati, the designated hitter, Mike Moustakis. A wide to kick the pitch. There's the strike. Pretty amazing. His first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One out. Andrew Vaughn, the next to hit for the Reds. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. And a foul ball. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside now part of the plate and drove season. it up the middle. Alley. He let it travel just Boom. enough. Man at first with one gone. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. In the air, out towards left center. Buxton racing over to make the catch. Man at first. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Good Veteran. contact guy, Tyler good defender. Stevenson. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. On to Horner, and that is that. Bottom of the eighth, and now for Seattle, Ty France. Leading up for the Mariners, the first baseman. And here it comes. 
Line drive. Diving. Gets down. Could be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the, the outfield. Fielder, number and now Chris Bryant. Chris. Now fly ball to right Bryant. center. And it's into the gap. Flying around third is France. He'll score. It's 10-0.